MLT stands for Medical Laboratory Technicians. MLTs are professionals who obtain a degree and successfully pass board certification testing. Many times, the job of an MLT is confused with other professional healthcare positions like phlebotomists, medical assistants, and nurses. This confusion is commonly created because many times MLTs are not seen in action. A large amount of the work performed by an MLT is behind the scenes in the laboratory environment. Depending on the department or place of employment, MLTs may have more face-to-face -face time with patients. Medical laboratory technicians perform critical tests to assist physicians and healthcare providers in compiling diagnosis for the patient. MLTs take our job very seriously because many times a patient's life could depend on the results and treatment provided. A mistake in the lab can literally cause patients to receive incorrect treatment, which could last for several months. This is not only costly for the patient, but it could also delay recovery or cause permanent side effects. Laboratory testing is performed on a wide range of specimens. Each type of specimen has different criteria for handling and processing. Sometimes specimens are collected by the MLTs, but many times we rely on the help of other departments. Types of specimens are blood, cerebral spinal fluid, tissue, bone marrow aspirate, and other types of body fluids such as urine, sputum, and feces. When a specimen is first received in the lab, the MLT needs to examine it for several items. These checks ensure that the specimen was collected properly and will provide the best and most accurate results possible. Information on the label includes some or all of the following depending on the sample type. Patient information, patient number, date of birth, sex, collection time, and technician's initials. Specimen integrity and quality is inspected to ensure that there is enough sample content for the test process and the quantity of the sample is sufficient. Some specimens need to be processed more quickly than others, while other samples may take more time. One specimen may need to have several different tests performed on it. This test may go to one or several different departments within the laboratory. The laboratory is comprised of seven main departments, clinical chemistry, urinalysis, hematology, serology immunology, microbiology, and blood bank immunohematology. Clinical chemistry is the largest department in most laboratories. A wide range of tests are performed in this department. Several different types of tests can be performed in this area. The most common test is the complete metabolic profile, which assesses 15 different tests, which include cholesterol, blood glucose, electrolytes, such as potassium and sodium levels. Individual blood tests can be performed to test for thyroid, kidney, liver, and cardiac function. There are different types of body fluids tested in this area. These are serum, plasma, urine, and sometimes testing will be performed on synovial cerebrospinal fluid and pericardial fluid. The blood received in the clinical chemistry department has to be separated into serum or plasma before it can be tested. The sample is placed into a centrifuge and the tube is spun at a high revolution rate. This processes separates the serum or plasma from the red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Then the sample is placed into an analyzer, which measures the amount of color in the solution. The results are then reported to the physician to help with diagnosis and treatment of the patient. The department also handles toxicology tests, which assesses the amount of drug or poison in a person's body. Another area of testing performed in the clinical chemistry is electrophoresis. Urinalysis, while it is sometimes combined with the clinical chemistry department, it can also be a separate department in a larger lab or hospital. This department analyzes urine, feces, semen, drug screenings, synovial fluid, and cerebral spinal fluid. The urinary system regulates blood volume, blood chemistry, pH, electrolyte concentrations, and blood pressure. Several tests can be performed on urine, some are simple and rapid, such as the test included in the routine urinalysis. Preparation of samples is important to ensure valid results. We rely on our healthcare partners to educate patients and coworkers in proper collection procedures and handling. 
Most routine samples are collected by midstream clean catch methods. If not collected properly, bacteria and other elements will show up in the specimen causing false results. The routine urinalysis procedure has three parts, the physical and chemical examinations of urine and the microscopic examination of urine sediments. Other tests performed in the urinalysis department are 24-hour specimen and other specialized testing to include glucose, protein, bilirubin, and ketone confirmatory tests. Hematology is defined as the study of blood. The complete blood count and the differential counts are commonly performed in this department. The fluid most examined is blood drawn in a purple top tube containing the anticoagulant EDTA. Proper specimen collection and delivery to the lab is vital, otherwise the specimen could be rejected, causing a delay in treatment or diagnosis. This is where we rely on other nurses, medical assistants, phlebotomists, and lab technicians to use proper techniques. When the sample is received in the hematology department, it is examined for clots. The tubes are then placed in a centrifuge for a period of time to separate the plasma from the whole blood. Many facilities use automated equipment to obtain the results, which include counts of white blood cells, red blood cells, reticulocytes, and platelets. If results fall outside a specified range, the sample is placed onto a slide and stained. The technician will then manually evaluate the specimen by viewing it under a microscope. Validation of different cell types and counts is performed. Many specific disease states, including lymphomas, leukemias, anemias, parasitic infections, intravascular or extravascular hemolysis are discovered. Microbiology is the branch of biology dealing with microorganisms. Bacteria, viruses, parasites, fungus, and yeast are examined by the laboratory technicians. Specimen processing can take several hours to days to isolate a specific organism. Bacteria is everywhere, including on our skin, in our mucous membranes, and gastrointestinal tract. The microbiology department is responsible for separating the normal flora or bacteria from pathogens or harmful bacteria. This can be accomplished by creating a pure culture. Specimens are collected from many resources, including things like sputum, urine, blood, wound, pus, and various other secretions. Microorganisms are isolated and identified by growing them in specialized media such as blood auger plates, broths, and other media. Solid auger plates and liquid broths contain nutrients that help the microorganisms grow. Different microorganisms require different types of nutrients and environmental conditions in order to grow. For example, if a doctor orders testing to isolate a specific bacteria, the sample is first collected from a patient. The laboratory technician will place part of that sample onto a slide for direct microscopic examination. This is done by creating a gram stain. The gram stain process involves several steps which help identify gram positive and gram negative bacteria. This provides preliminary findings to the physician. The other portion of the sample is put onto one or more medium like auger plates or broths containing nutrients for growth. If needed, these mediums are placed into an incubator for a period of time to facilitate growth. After a set amount of time has elapsed, the laboratory technician evaluates the growth medium for specific colonization. Sometimes there's different types of bacteria on one plate making it necessary to obtain a pure culture. This is done by extracting an individual colony and culturing it on a separate media for additional growth. This allows a single bacterium to grow. Once isolated, the microorganism is again put through the gram stain process to assist in the diagnosis. In patients who have reoccurring or severe infections, antibiotic sensitivity testing can be performed. E. coli, streptococcus, and staphylococcus are just few of the most common types of bacterium isolated in this department. Serology is also known as immunology. The human immune system has many different components, 
which need to function properly in order for the body to defend itself against foreign cells and invaders. When the body's immune system is not working properly, undesirable immune reactions can occur, including autoimmune disorders. Many tests are designed to detect immune deficiency or irregularities. Tests in the immunology department aid in a diagnosis by detecting serum antibodies to viruses, bacteria, and parasites. Examples of common diseases identified are rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, mononucleosis, and hypersensitivity reactions. Blood and tissue types are performed in this department along with cell marker identification. Blood banking is also referred to as immunohematology. Patients receive blood transfusions for a variety of reasons, including surgical procedures, transplants, and traumatic injury. Before a patient can receive blood, several tests need to be performed. Common tests performed in the blood bank department are ABO blood typing, RH typing, antibody screens, identification, cross-matching, and antigen typing. Stringent procedures need to be followed in all phases of the blood transfusion process to ensure that patients receive the correct blood type. Errors in the blood bank can cause deadly reactions in patients. Attention to detail is imperative in this department as a patient's life literally depends on correct results. As you can see, there are many different types of tests performed behind the scenes in the laboratory, as well as several departments. The responsibilities and operations of the laboratory are possible through the dedicated work of the medical laboratory technician.